Hi there, my name is Rob, I'm one of the instructors from Blair Vara. Uh, welcome to Blair Vara Fights. Today in our little video we're going to look at two different types of moss. The first one being this one, sphagnum moss, which is a beautiful uh, bright green colour, very fluffy, big clumps you'll find it in wooded areas. Uh, it tends to be in this type of habitat, uh, kind of shaded areas uh, in the forest, and you'll find it there. It's got an antibacterial quality, so it can be used for cuts and grazes to clean your cut when you're out and about in the forest. It also holds about 20 times its weight in water, so if you're really desperate for a drink, you could wring it out into your mouth. But remember, it tastes a wee bit like earth. I've got some of it here. It's got loads of cool little uses. Uh, my wife uses it for lining her planters. Uh, for the garden, uh, she also uses it for making Christmas wreaths, etc. But it's got loads of cool facts uh, about it, which I've outlined on a, a little fact card which you guys can access, and hopefully, you find that useful. So, this next little moss is called Starry Moss, uh, or the Latin name is Polytrichum commune. Uh, and again, you'll find it in a similar habitat to Sphagnum moss. So, if you're out in the forest, you should have a look for it. Again, it grows in quite big clumps. It's quite a cool little plant. When you look down from above, you'd think you were like floating in the sky and looking down in a big forest. Uh, so why don't you guys, when you're out and about in the hills, uh, try and see if you can find both of these mosses and try and identify them. So Polytrichum commune, Starry Moss or Sphagnum Moss. But why don't you research it as a school topic uh, and see what you can find out about it. There's lots of cool things to find out. So thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll catch up soon. Bye!